Coming up on the High School Quiz Show, it's Hopkinton High School taking on North Quincy High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Whether you prefer email, texting, or a live person, Safety Insurance is available to help you file a claim and pay your bill. Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Learn more at safetyinsurance.com. Additional funding is provided by Eastern Bank. I feel it. When our communities need a voice, Eastern Bank steps up stands strong and does not stay silent when times get tough good speaks up join us for good this is what it sounds like additional funding is provided by the museum of science the museum of science trekking around the arctic has never been easier you can get lost in the mystery and find beauty in arctic adventure exploring with technology on exhibit now only at the museum of science more at mos.org everybody and welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. In last week's match between Mystic Valley Regional Charter School and Weston High School, Weston defeated Mystic Valley to move on to the quarterfinals. Now today's match, we welcome Hopkinton High School and North Quincy High School competing for the final spot in the quarterfinals. And on the Hopkinton team, we have Ruben. How are you, Ruben? I'm good. Good luck. And uh, Neil, how you doing? Doing good. All right. How about you, Brian? You ready to go? You psyched? I'm doing great. <laughs> and uh, Danu, how about you? Yeah, I'm doing good. All right. The alternate is Arian with Coach Mason Shalinor competing for North Quincy. We've got Caitlin. Hello, Caitlin. Hi, Billy. How are you? I'm just fine. Nice to see you. Hi, Peter. How's it going? Pretty good. Just pretty good. Come on, we got to get better than pretty good. It's High School Quiz Show. Uh, John Thomas, how are you? I'm doing well. That looks like a very active room you're in right now. There's a lot going on there. There is, yes. <laughs> uh, Dominique, welcome to High School Quiz Show. How are you feeling? Feeling excited and ready. All right, and the alternates for North Quincy High are Nicholas and Sophie with coaches Mira Kriz, Danielle Fernandez, and Peggy Farron. <laughs> Now, the competition has four rounds, toss-up, head-to-head, category, and lightning round. Throughout the game, a green light is a correct answer, a red light an incorrect answer, and a gray light means no answer was given. And we start with the toss-up round. All players are active, and with a correct answer, can contribute 10 points per question to their team score. There are no point deductions for wrong answers. So teams, if you're ready, good luck. And let's get started. In July and August 2021, more than 385,000 people attended what four-day music festival in Chicago, despite concerns over the Delta variant. Governor's Ball, Lollapalooza, or Lilith Fair? Lollapalooza. Hester Prynne is the protagonist of what classic novel? Wuthering Heights, Middlemarch, or The Scarlet Letter? The Scarlet Letter. In 2021, after 12 years with the New England Patriots, what wide receiver announced his retirement from the NFL due to a lingering knee injury? Was it Dante Hightower, Julian Edelman, or Devin Ross? Julian Edelman. Take a look at your screens, please. Uh, often considered the first black superstar, what American dancer seen here became widely popular in France in the 1920s and later devoted much of her life to fighting racism. Was it Dorothy Dandridge, Billie Holiday, or Josephine Baker? Josephine Baker. What started out as the most populous state back when there were only 13 of them with a 1,790 population of about 700,000? Is it New York, South Carolina, or Virginia? Virginia. In 1887, two years before her famous race around the world, 
who went undercover to expose the abuse of patients at one of New York's most notorious mental asylums. Was it Ida Tarbell, Helen Hunt Jackson, or Nellie Bly? Nellie Bly. In September 2021, the Supreme Court upheld a restrictive new law in what state that bans abortions after six weeks of pregnancy, with no exceptions for rape or incest? Texas, Kansas, or Mississippi? Texas. The Brandenburg Gate is one of Germany's best-known landmarks. It's located in what city? Munich, Berlin, or Brandenburg? Berlin. Take a look at your screens, and here comes the next question. Hi, I'm Alok Patel, pediatrician, medical journalist, and host of the Nova Now podcast. Here's my question. During the 18th and 19th centuries, what infectious disease, once known as consumption, was responsible for the most deaths across all age groups in the Western world? Was it influenza, diphtheria, or tuberculosis? Tuberculosis is the answer, and we move on. On Breaking Bad, chemistry teacher Walter White adopts an alias named after what German physicist who introduced the idea of the uncertainty principle, Otto Hahn, Ernst Mach, or Werner Heisenberg? Werner Heisenberg. What river in the Northwest Territories is the longest river in Canada? The St. Lawrence, the Mackenzie, or the Yukon? The Mackenzie. What Republican president called for racial justice in America immediately following the horrific violence of the 1921 massacre in Tulsa in an affluent area known as Black Wall Street? Was it Herbert Hoover, Warren G. Harding, or Calvin Coolidge? Warren G. Harding. What short tree-like extensions of a neuron conduct impulses to a neighboring cell body or soma? Is it dendrites? Ganglions or villi? Dendrites. In trigonometry, what function is the reciprocal of the cosine? Is it the sine, the secant, or the tangent? The secant. In Game of Thrones, John Aaron, Ned Stark, Tyrion Lannister, Tywin Lannister, and Kevin Lannister all held what chief advisor title symbolized with a little brooch? Was it the first man, the Night King, or the Hand of the King? The Hand of the King. What short story by Daniel Keyes featured a laboratory mouse that has undergone surgery to increase its intelligence? The Lottery, the Most Dangerous Game, or Flowers for Algernon? Flowers for Algernon. What constitutional amendment states that in peacetime, a soldier cannot stay in a citizen's home without the owner's consent? Third Amendment, Fourth Amendment, or Sixth Amendment? Third Amendment is the answer. In chess, which piece can move only diagonally? Bishop, knight, or pawn? Bishop. In 1673, French explorers Marquette and Joliet became the first Europeans to chart what North American river? Was it the Rio Grande, the St. Lawrence, or the Mississippi? The answer is the Mississippi. And that's the end of the toss-up round. The score right now... Hopkinton, 430 points. North Quincy High, 520 points. Let's hear it for both teams. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next, but first we're going to take a couple of minutes to get to know the players just a little bit better. We do it with a question, and I've got the question. You'll have the answers. And uh, we're going to start with Ruben at Hopkinton. Uh, Reuben, would you live in the Arctic or in the Sahara Desert, and why? Um, I'd probably choose to live in the Sahara Desert because um, I usually I don't really like wearing like five or six layers in the Arctic, <laughs> which you'd have to do. How about you, Neil? Probably the desert because like you could bring a lot of water, but you can't really like bring a lot of heat to the Arctic. Mm hmm. And uh, Brian, how about you? In the Arctic, you can make igloos. Meanwhile, in the desert, you kind of just have sand. So. I just picked the Arctic. Uh, okay, a nice, comfy, cozy igloo. What's wrong with that? Uh, Danu, how about you? I'd probably choose the Arctic because I just think it's a cooler place than the desert. Much cooler, <laughs> temperature-wise. Uh, let's go over to North Quincy. Caitlin, how about you? I'd rather live in the Arctic because I think narwhals are a lot cooler than camels, so. <laughs> uh, Peter? 
I would say the Arctic. However, it's probably not going to be there for much longer. So I'd have to go with the Sahara. Pretty good point right there. And uh, John Thomas, how about you? Arctic or desert? Well, I'd go to the Sahara because according to Cora, it's much safer. <laughs> and Dominique? I would say the Sahara because with all the winter and cold weather we had, don't really want to move up to an even colder place. I am so with you on that, Dominique. I'll take desert every time. All right, it's time to go head to head. So I say teams, let's go head to head. In this round, correct answers add 10 points to the team total. Incorrect answers now result in a 10-point deduction. If an answer is not given, there is no impact on the score. So teams, good luck, and here we go. What 1949 agreement was the first peacetime military alliance ever conducted by the United States? Was it NATO or the Warsaw Pact? NATO. Though she herself never married, who often wrote about love and marriage in novels like Pride and Prejudice? Was it Charlotte Bronte or Jane Austen? Jane Austen. Which part of the human body is an example of a hinge joint, elbow or shoulder? Elbow. Robin Fenty is the real name of what pop and R&B singer? Is it Beyonce or Rihanna? Rihanna. Newspeak is the official language of Oceana in what dystopian novel, 1984 or The Handmaid's Tale? 1984. What is the largest city in Scotland by population, Glasgow or Edinburgh? Glasgow. What legendary queen of Carthage appears in the Aeneid? Is it Helen or Dido? Dido. What constellation in the night sky means the water bearer in Latin? Is it Pisces or Aquarius? Aquarius. Oh, that's the end of the round. We'll take a look at the score right now. Hopkinton, 450 points. North Quincy High, 580 points. Good job, guys. Good job, teams. Next up is the category round with the following categories. Hestia is bestia. Divide and Conquer, Know Your Place, Tiger Beat, Lord of the Rings, and Advice and Consent. Uh, teams will be able to choose two five-question categories and will have the option to toss one question per category to the other team. Uh, teams are able to confer. So, Hopkinton, who's going to be the team spokesman? I will. It'll be... Ruben says, I will, and you will. And North Quincy, who's the spokesperson for the team? Uh, me. All right, uh, uh, Caitlin. And uh, Hopkinton, you've got little ground to make up. No big deal, but you get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? Uh, do you guys think we should do, I think divide and conquer is like probably um, like ancient empires. Or we could do like know your place, which is probably geography. Uh, go with divide and conquer. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, we'll do divide and conquer. All right, Ruben, divide and conquer. These are questions about math, and for 10 points. If two fair coins are tossed at the same time, what is the probability in lowest terms of getting two tails? And please give your answer as a fraction. Uh, One-fourth. Yeah. yeah. Uh, One-fourth. Final answer, Ruben? One-fourth. Okay. And that's correct. Now for 15 points. If a snail can travel at a rate of two inches per minute, how many inches will it travel in three hours? So three hours is 180 minutes. Times and three. Times, they said two inches. They had three hours. So, so 180 times two is 360, right? No, times three, 180 times three. Or wait, wait, wait. Two no, no, never mind. Never mind, yeah, 360. <laughs> All right, all right. Yeah. Uh, 360 inches. And that is correct. For 20 points now, if you put $1,000 into an investment yielding 6% simple annual interest, how much interest would you get at the end of two years? So after one year, 60, you get 120. 120. How much interest? Yeah, uh, yeah, 100, $120. Final answer? 120. And that is correct. Now for 25 points, uh, if the log of 2 is approximately equal to 0 0.3, what is the log of 8? 0 0.9, because 2 to the third power, and then you like, do the thing. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, I mean, that sounds right. Uh, 0 0.9. Uh, that is correct. Now for 30 points in geometry. An icosagon is a polygon with how many sides? You want to toss this yeah. one? Do you want to toss or do you want to like not answer? Um, wait, how many points is this one again? This is 30. Uh, just, Waiting on an answer. Ruben, do you have an answer? Should we just pass? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll pass this one. Uh, the answer is 20. And now we go to North Quincy. North Quincy, you'll need a category. Um, guys, I like advice and consent. I second. Yeah, that or, yeah, that's good. All right. Okay, Billy, we'll go with advice and consent. Advice and consent. Questions about the U.S. Senate and for 10 points. Uh, the Senate has the exclusive power to provide advice and consent to the president on nominations and on treaties. In 1919, Woodrow Wilson asked for a quick consent on what treaty that ended World War I. Treaty of Versailles. Treaty of Versailles. Okay, final answer, Treaty of Versailles. And that's a correct answer now for 15 points. In February 2021, what Senate minority leader voted to acquit Donald Trump during his second impeachment trial, even though he said the former president was practically and morally responsible for the Capitol insurrection? Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell. Um, final answer, Mitch McConnell. And that is a correct answer. Now for 20 points. Hillary Clinton was the first former first lady to be elected to the Senate. From 2001 to 2009, she represented what U.S. state? New York, right? Yeah, New York, New York yeah. Okay. Final answer, New York. And that is correct. Now for 25 points in June 2021. What Democratic senator from West Virginia bucked his party by saying he would vote against the For the People Act, a sweeping voting rights bill? Joe Manchin. Manchin, right. Um, final answer, Joe Manchin. Joe Manchin is correct now for 30 points in January 2021. At the age of 33, what Georgia Democrat became the first millennial U.S. senator and the first Jewish senator from the South since the 1880s? John Ossoff. Ossoff, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, final answer, Ossoff. Ossoff is correct. And now we move back to Hopkinton. We'll need a category. I want to go with Know Your Place. Yeah, you guys think know your place is geography? I don't, what could Tiger beat? What, what do you guys think the other ones are? Oh, Lord, I mean, Lord of Rings might be like marriage. <laughs> or, yeah, I don't know. Do you want to do know your place then? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with know your place. Okay, know your place. All answers feature a place name. For example, a city, state, country, or neighborhood. And please give the full name. So for 10 points in 2020, what star of the film Joker won the Academy Award for Best Actor? Uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah. Um, Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix is correct now for 15 points. Miley Cyrus was just 11 years old when she auditioned for what Disney series about an average teen whose alter ego is a famous singer? Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. Final answer. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana is correct. Uh, born in California to Honduran parents, what actress shot to fame for playing the role of Betty Suarez in the television comedy drama Ugly Betty? Um, Ugly Betty. Oh. Yeah, pass on it, I think. Yeah, we'll pass on that one. Uh, you got to pass? Uh, yeah. America Ferreira is the answer. And now for 25 points. What Oscar-nominated film from 2019 stars Leonardo DiCaprio as Rick Dalton, a television actor facing a fading career, and his stuntman Cliff Booth, played by Brad Pitt? Once Upon a oh, Time Once Upon a Time. Yeah. Once, once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is the correct answer. Great movie. Now for 30 points, what Czech novelist wrote The Unbearable Lightness of Being and The Book of Laughter and Forgetting, which were banned in his homeland until 1989? Czech author. Um... Do you want to toss this? Yeah, you want to toss this? 
Okay, uh, we'll toss this to North Quincy. Okay, North Quincy, do you have an answer on this one? Yeah, the answer is Milan Kundera. And that Kundera. is a correct answer. And now we go to North Quincy, and you get to choose a category. What's it going to be? Guys, uh, I like Hestia as Bestia. Five seconds. A third. Agree. Okay, we'll go with Hestia as Bestia. Hestia is Bestia. Questions about Greek mythology. And for 10 points, what Greek goddess of victory is often depicted as hovering with outspread wings? Nike, right? Final answer, Nike. Final answer? Nike. Okay, and Nike is right. For 15 points, Hestia, the goddess of the hearth and family, is the daughter of Rhea. And what king of the Titans who swallowed all of his children? Kronos. Kronos. Mm -hmm. Final answer, Kronos. Kronos is the correct answer. Uh, what handsome youth loved no one until he fell in love with his own reflection in a pool of water? Narcissus. 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 Final answer, Narcissus. And that is a correct answer. Now for 25 points. In The Matrix, a Lawrence Fishburne plays a character named after what Greek god who shapes and forms the dreams of mortals? Morpheus. 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 Okay. Final answer, Morpheus. And that is a correct answer. And now for 30 points, the three witches in Macbeth bear a striking resemblance to what female figures in Greek mythology who weave the threads of human destiny? The fates, right? The fates, yeah. Okay, final answer, the fates. The fates is a correct answer. And uh, that's the end of the category round. And now we'll check the score. Hopkinton, 570 points, North Quincy, 810 points. Let's hear it for both teams. Okay, we are heading into the final round of play. It's the lightning round. All players are active, and with each response, can add or subtract 20 points to their team's total. A decision not to answer does not impact the score. We have 10 questions. Teams, good luck, and here we go. In 2021, what Dance Moms alum was part of the first same-sex dancing pair on the ABC series Dancing with the Stars? Was it Maddie Ziegler or Jojo Siwa? Jojo Siwa. What is the only nation whose ambassadors were called nuncios, derived from the Latin for messengers? Is it Andorra or the Vatican? The Vatican. What was the verdict in the Boston Massacre murder trial against Captain Preston and eight British soldiers? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. In the Harry Potter books, what animal is the symbol of Hufflepuff House? Is it badger or fox? Badger. On August 31st, 1997, Diana, Princess of Wales, died in a car crash in what city, London or Paris? Paris, a planet with a perfectly circular orbit, is scientifically defined as having zero eccentricity or zero index. Zero eccentricity. The Hundred Years' War lasted how many years? 106 or 116? 116. In taxonomy, what is the scientific term for the group of animals that don't have backbones? Chordates or invertebrates? Invertebrates. A crucial victory for the Union, the 1862 Battle of Shiloh took place in what U.S. state, Tennessee or Pennsylvania? Tennessee. Who was the leader of the Soviet Union when the Berlin Wall came down, Boris Yeltsin or Mikhail Gorbachev? Mikhail Gorbachev is the answer there. And that's the end of the game. The winning team this week is North Quincy High with a final score of 1100 50 points. Hopkinton finishes very close with 1,030 points. What an incredible match. Congratulations to both teams for a great game. So North Quincy High now claims the final spot in the quarterfinals. And you can join us next week for the first quarterfinal matchup between Andover High School 
and Belmont High School. Until then, uh, don't forget, you can play a bonus round of High School Quiz Show on your Alexa or Google Home devices. Just ask your smart speaker to play High School Quiz Show. And we'll see you all next week. Good job, teams. You can watch High School Quiz Show anytime on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram for a look behind the scenes and quizzes that'll keep you thinking. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more photos and video. And add some competition to your conversations by sending your friends High School Quiz Show gifts. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Cyber attacks aren't going away. You can talk to an independent agent about cyber coverage from Safety Insurance. It covers data restoration, data recreation, system restoration, and more. Safety Insurance will help you manage life storms, even the cyber kind. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science. The Museum of Science. Trekking around the Arctic has never been easier. You can get lost in the mystery and find beauty in Arctic adventure, exploring with technology. On exhibit now, only at the Museum of Science. More at MOS.org. Additional funding is provided by Eastern Bank. I feel it. When our communities need a voice, Eastern Bank steps up, stands strong, and does not stay silent. When times get tough, good speaks up. Join us for good. This is what it's